Hello, VC. Look who's back. It's the Zonk Man. Hello, YouTube. I'm still here. It's been a while. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, what this video is going to be if you clicked on it. Happy New Year. Hope everybody had a good holiday. Merry Christmas. Uh, whatever it is. Um, this video is going to be uh, prizes, gifts, merch, VCLT, uh, and some records. So uh, sit back and uh, yeah, we'll get into it. First, I want to talk about uh, being absent for a while. You know, I, uh, I go through spells where I just don't do videos just just not feeling it it's not that I don't have any ideas or any content or anything like that it's just, I just don't feel it and then kind of uh, you know dealing with personal issues on top of that uh, that's why there's been three three months here with no videos on the Steve Bender channel which is the Zonk Man a um, couple people I want to shout out right off the top. Aaron at Mr. Bizarro. It's Mr. Bizarro here on YouTube. It's Mr. Bizarro's Music Room on Twitch. And uh, he does some live streams on there and stuff. Uh, he, he recently contacted me. And I uh, wanted to do a little stuff on the channel. Kind of get me back out there again. I appreciate it, brother. Thank you very much. This has gotten me motivated to do this video along with uh, getting some VCLT. So thank you, Aaron, over there, Mr. Bizarro. Also want to thank Steve Carlson, uh, the awesome Steve Carlson, staple in the vinyl community. Send me some VCLT. Um... You know, right around here. It just happens to have uh, been around uh, Christmas time. I thought about him and sent something. So, boom, he sent some stuff back. Very grateful for that. Very grateful needing to uh, basically make a video <laughs> showing it. So, here I am. I don't, you know, I'm kind of feeling like it's forced, but. I'm doing it, and I'm going to get back in the groove, man, and that's just all there is to it. So, uh, thank another shout-out, Steve Carlson, and I'm going to show, I'm going to start right on with that. We're going to go to the VCLT first. So, I did, he used the same box. We did, I did some Zonk on the box, and here I put uh, Zonking, we will go all the way to Midland, Michigan, and then he puts back Zonking you back. Uh, so killer we don't have to show the other side that's got addresses and stuff on it and of course I appreciate the letters the cards the uh, awesome letter appreciate being uh, in that and then he also does some Steve Carlson is quite the artiste he does a little illustration there of the Zonk Man that's pretty close yeah it's pretty close man I like it I dig it man that is cool. Definitely hanging on to all that, even though that was originally my box I sent. But he sent it back, so it's all good. So I'm going to show what he uh, stopped babbling and uh, show what he sent. Beavis Fron, Inner Marshland. This is a brand new, re brand new LP. Reissued in 16 or 17 or something like that. 2016. Not familiar, if you guys aren't familiar with the Beavis Fron, it's kind of like a psychedelia revival in the late 80s. Steve's a big fan. I have seen you show this and uh, just haven't dove in yet, so thank you for sending me this. I am enjoying it already. This is right in the whole wheelhouse. Stoner, doom, psychedelia, metal, groove. It fits in there and uh, he sent two LPs this kicks ass and this kicks ass too this is Beavis Fron uh, the Annie 
Auntie Winnie album. And what is crazy special about this, if you can see, it looks like the cover got a little wet. Thank you, Steve. This is a survivor from the Steve Carlson um, Midland, Michigan basement flood. Dude, I can't believe you sent me one of the records that survived that. Um, of course, it's a two LP set. It's just black wax, but the, uh, let's pull one of these out, show a label. Um, but freaking awesome. You know, it plays perfect. Of course, he said, you know, the wax survived. Dude, you can't play the cover. I'm not worried about any of this stuff. Um, plus, it's actually real good. <laughs> you know, I mean, you can read everything. It's just got a little bit of, you can tell, I had a little water damage. I am totally stoked to get a surviving record. You did not have to send this. This is awesome. This is awesome stuff right here to send a survivor of the flood. So thank you, Steve Carlson. Um, now I'm gonna get into the, uh, gifts. Gifts, I got this, and this stuff is all dating back to, this dating back to September, I think. Um, family from Iowa came and visited, and my sister, Angela, sent me this cool, uh, you know, drink. Uh, you know, well, yeah, whatever. <laughs> uh, but it says the Zonk Man, she got a personalized man. This is freaking awesome. This is in the music room. Uh, the Zonk Man will probably not put any beverages in this, uh, but this is still killer. I love it. And it's got some little vinyl there on the back, and it's uh, it's melting like if you were listening to some stoner or some psychedelia. So that is freaking awesome. Thank you, Angela. I appreciate it so much. Hate that it's taken me this long to get around to uh, letting you know. Now we got some merch. A little early morning Sunday show with Cat Steve Carlson. Got the mug. This is probably another thing too. It's got like paper and stuff in it. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Onk Man was big on getting the cups. So uh, she's got her. She drinks coffee out of hers. This will probably not see a drop of coffee. But this will be in the music room awesome to get some merch and then this is contest winnings and this probably dates back to October um, the grown man record night contest for you bought it because of the cover and I mean I think I have worn this shirt maybe one time in the last video but I'm wearing this again to uh, shout out grown man record night and I appreciate uh, Appreciate the uh, support. Appreciate their channel. It's awesome. The live stream they do on Friday night. They just got finished doing a thing for Christmas Eve and then a, and a thing last night for New Year's Eve where they dropped the ball and stuff like that. So cool stuff. If you're not familiar with them, check them out. Um, I'm sure you are. Now I'm going to go back to uh, Clemens Record Show, which that was back in November. I'm just going to show some stuff real quick. Hawkwind. Hall of the Mountain Grill. This is my first Hawkwind record. Um, this is killer, man. Any of that. Space rock. Uh, progginess. Uh, whatever they were doing back then. Lemmy is on this album. I couldn't even tell you the year. 74, maybe. Eh, Maybe. I'm not, I know of Hawkwind, uh, but like I said, this is my first record and only streamed some stuff before to get, uh, get into them. Another killer one, The Power of Zeus, The Gospel According to Zeus. This is not, <laughs> as you can tell, this is not an original. This is a reissue. Um, yeah, the Zonk Man's cheap, so I'm not going to be paying, forking out big money for, uh, an original one of these. This is still killer. Love this music, this psychedelia. This is an awesome record. I actually bought this reissue used, so that's how cheap the Zonk Man is. I gotta get a reissue used. <laughs> Some other stuff real quick I picked up at the show, not too much. Uriah Heap, look at yourself. Uh, big on Uriah Heap, just don't missing a few of the earlier ones. 
showing here. I uh, don't get deep into the later stuff, but if we're like mid 70s and earlier, uh, you you ride heat really kicks ass. Um, we'll go ahead and show the other one. This is the uh, the first you ride heat. You gotta love that cover, man. Um, kick ass record. These were cheap, you know, cheap like the Zonk Man. If you guys are familiar with Uriah Heap, good stuff. Um, here's another killer one. A little Slayer South of Heaven. This is a reissue, same deal, 14, 16, 2014, 2016 maybe. Um, not necessarily the cheapest used reissue, but cool killer to get this and this stuff you know eventually it'll get reissued again but you never know on some of this stuff man and that that get, for me to rant a little bit that pisses me off when you got reissues it's bad enough like an original is gonna be a hundred dollars or whatever of this record depending on condition depending on coming across it but then when the reissues get more than thirty dollars or whatever then that kind of sucks too it's like come on man um, okay, now, hey, <laughs> there's no RSD in the title of this video, so I'm sneaking it in on you, if you're even hanging around this long. This is what I was waiting for, RSD Black Friday. This was number one. All Them Witches Live on the Internet. This is a three LP record. Um, it got pushed back. I think it was originally set for July because of all the crazy uh, manufacturing and, and just pushback of everything is, is uh, they're just piled up and don't have enough time to get everything done. Everything keeps getting pushed back. This was something that got pushed back. Luckily, it came out on Record Store Day Black Friday. Like I said, three LPs. Live on the internet, something that they recorded during the uh, lockdown. Killer, I love all them witches. Um, if if you're new, man, I go check out all them witches. I try to talk about all them witches every video. Them and King Buffalo, and I'm not even going to show any King Buffalo records in this one. Okay, so our, and then it continued RSD just to throw it in real quick. Mr. Big, lean into it. Look at that. You know, it's 90s stuff, so 90s stuff is uh, expensive uh, if you find a copy. So this for the RSD... Uh, Black Friday reissue, good enough, man. Cool killer to get that on vinyl. Uh, here's something I usually don't make a big deal about: it's covers. Chris Isaac, Beyond the Sun, got this on RSD too. Um, what I thought was a little bit messed up on this is originally this was a two LP record with I don't even remember how many songs. We'll say 18 or something like that, or we'll say 20. And then because uh, this is a 1LP, they trimmed it down to uh, maybe 10 or 11 tracks. And they only put like one new recording or something on it. So they kind of switched it up a little bit to make it special for RSD, but that was it. And then the last RSD, Saigon Kick, The Lizard. I know you guys are probably like, oh, we'll show us a little green action there. Check out that vinyl. Love is on the way. Mrs. Zonk Man loves this, so that's good enough. But uh, I probably say this is the first time I've owned Saigon Kick, but I was definitely familiar with their hits back in the 90s, early 90s. Um, I don't even know if you can hear what's playing. Hopefully you can't, because it probably get popped. Uh, but it is that realm of late 80s, early 90s, glam, metal, Blues, sleaze. Hey, whoa, what are you doing back there? There's aliens. They're here. Save the Zonk Man. We're going to have to start a fund. Here come the aliens. They're coming. It's just, it started already. It's just now 2022. All right, the Zonk Man, I did it. It was not that painful. Actually, I love doing this. Um, sometimes I kind of beat myself up about why, why would somebody else want to watch this, but I need to just say, you know what, I appreciate the handful of folks uh, that watch the videos. Uh, leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. I'm coming to find out there's more and more people uh, 
that don't leave a comment that I kind of that I know about. I was like, okay, well, I'll just talk to you straight, straight through the video, and uh, you don't have to leave a comment. All right, that's it. Um, see you guys real soon, and I'm not talking bullshit on that. I am going to make another video because I have been blessed with a bunch of music. And I'm going to have to get that out there and show you guys. Peace. Happy New Year. Stop, damn it. This thing ain't working. <laughs>